Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a preview, a quick preview of week four from Berlin of the Darts Premier League. I'm um, sorry that I didn't get to do the preview show, but as for many of you know, I've been in Scotland for the last 10 days and I've been mega busy. I've actually got some of the videos planned here now. Uh, just now. I can't believe what I did in Scotland. It was epic. I got to meet so many people. For those of you guys that have not seen the videos, please check them out. Let's just have a quick recap before I start the um, the, the review show of, of the Premier League. So when I was up there, I checked out Darts and Arts. I met the owner, a guy called Peter. It was amazing. Some of the prints and some of the, you know, the whole setup and, and what he's got there is absolutely awesome. I met Ted McMillan from Winmore and Darts Scotland. I also went to one of his exhibitions. I got to interview Ryan Murray. I also interviewed Trina Gulliver, 10 times world dance champion. I got to interview Dieter Hedman, who's currently world number one in the BDO. I got to play a leg of darts against two pro players. One of them is live, the other one's going out very soon. Um, I went to the Scottish Open, I met Tony O'Shea, I met Mark McGinney, Gary Robson, Neil Duff, Wes Newton, Ross Montgomery, Wolfie, Scott Mitchell. And I also got to meet Tracy and Danny from Team Darts with the Prostate Cancer. It was awesome. Please check out these videos on my channel, guys. It was epic. I'm probably actually going to do a video because I have to keep pinching myself thinking, did I really do all this? Just me from DartsPlanet.tv? I did. And it was crazy. Oh, and also, for those of you that missed it, I even managed to get so that um, my son and daughter, Ellie and Connor, got to play doubles with um, Trina and Dita, which was just, they were blown away. They're still smiling now. But what I want to do is I want to quickly review the Premier League. There was 12,000 fans crammed into Berlin last night in the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Now, I was looking really forward to it. Obviously, being in Scotland, come home. Um, my wife had bought me a bottle of gin to sit down to. It's a happy days for me. Um, at the start of the show started off awesome. The, the crowd looked amazing. Mardell and um, Harrington were saying they couldn't hear themselves think. But for me, there was something missing. Out of all the Premier League darts I've seen in some time, this was probably, as much as I hate to say, it's one of the worst nights. I don't know, a lot of the players didn't seem right. Uh, the, the, the fans didn't seem as loud as what I thought they would be. What do you guys think? Let's have a quick review of each game. And then we'll chat about that at the end of the video. So the night started off with Michael Smith against Simon Whitlock. Let's have a look at some of the stats. Um... Michael Smith um, had an 87.32, he had 5.140s, 5.180s and just an average of 31.82, while Simon Whitlock had um, an average of 85.6, 5.140s, 3.180s and a check out of 21.43. Smith won the match 7-3, uh, but to me, they both looked flat. Smith is really blown away, he said in his interview afterwards, a win is a win, he's sitting top of the table, four wins, eight points, happy days for him, but neither of them played to their ability. I think Whitlock's going to be really, really disappointed uh, coming away with just an 85.6 average. Next up, we saw Gerwin and the Irish man Price against Mincha Suljevic. Uh, Gerwin had a 90.87 uh, average, 9140s, 1180. Um, had a checkout percentage of 60%, while Mincha Suljevic had a 106.2, uh, 11140s, 3180s, and a checkout of 63.64. Suljevic really deserved to win that. In the last three weeks, in in the first two weeks, he hit averages of over 100. I think he's actually had three averages of over 100 in the four weeks um, and now got two points on the board and really, really deserved. Gerwin Price for me, again, looked really flat last night. He didn't have his boom and all his, you know, pizzazz at the stage, which he needs to play well. He was flat. Berlin, 12,000 fans. I thought he would have been absolutely buzzing and giving it the big one last night. He didn't. Uh, Suljevic won it very, very easily. 7-3. We then went on to MVG against Daryl Gurney. MVG... Had a 103.42 average, 7140s, 3180s, and a check out of 43.75. Uh, While Daryl Gurney had um, an average of 96.9, uh, 6140s, 3180s, and a check out of 22.22. Gurney can't check out at the moment. I don't know what's happened to Daryl Gurney, but I think he is really, really, really going off the boil. His, his Dublin used to be fairly good. His... 
He just doesn't seem to have the confidence. And again, he doesn't seem to have the pizzazz that he does. He's walking up to the stage and he just doesn't look his, his usual hungry self. Uh, to me, he hasn't done anything since winning that major. Not really. He's not been the player that he was that got him to the world number four. I don't think that Gurney, I think that is better players than Gurney. I think he's holding his position as the world number four. But I'm not sure he's going to be there for long if he doesn't sort himself out. MVG had an easy night at the office and he won this one 7-2. We then went on to Rob Cross against Raymond Van Barneveld. I was really looking forward to this one. Cross obviously last week beaten right. I thought it'd be a really good match. He had an average of 96.46. He had um, 8 140s, 4 180s and... Uh, Checkout percentage of 70%. Um, his highest checkout was a 128. While Barney's um, average was 88.6. Nine month four. He didn't even hit a 180 last night. He had a checkout of 30%. Cross won this one 7 3. Um, I think Cross was pleased to get through it. Again, uh, Cross isn't playing at his best. He was very open, but he said he's learning now, being the champion, to deal with it. And obviously, two wins in the last two weeks, putting him on four points, climbing the table a little bit. Now gone above Barney as well. But again, what 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 was what was Barney doing last night? He didn't seem himself. He, he had other things on his mind. Was he? I'm not saying he was disinterested, but he hasn't seemed himself. Um, oh, I just don't know what to put it down to. It was a really, really, really weird night. The final match of the night, though, boom, fireworks. It actually happened. Peter Snake might right against the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. Both average very high, and it's what the night needed. And um, Peter Wright, a 104.65 average, 15 140s, 15 140s, and 4 180s. Um, a checkout percentage of 40%. Well, Gary Anderson had a 105.25 um, average, 140s. He had seven, he had five 180s, and a checkout percentage of 85.71. One. What a match this was. It's what Germany needed. It, it, it did light the crowd a little bit. There was a bit more buzz. Um, and it needed it. It needed it. Listen, guys, I want to know what you guys thought. Was you disappointed with the first night in Berlin at the Premier League? Or, or was it what you expected it to be? What do you think was missing? Was it the atmosphere? Was it the fans? Was it the first time they were all in the same building? Was it overwhelming for the players playing in that side of state? Was it a too big a stadium? Please leave your comments below because I would love to know. Um, so let's have a look at the final league table now. Well, not the final league table, but after week four. So we've got Michael Smith, who's on eight points. Van Gerwen's in second on six. Whitlock's on six. Peter Wright's in fourth in the playoffs on four. Cross is on four points. Gary Anderson, um, Raymond Byrne, Barnevelt are both on three. While Solovich, Gurney and Price are all on two. Solovich, to me, is playing really well and he's going to be fine because he's hitting good averages still. Worrying times for me, for Gurney and Price. I must be honest. So pretty much guys, that is my review for the Premier League in Berlin. I can't wait to hear your comments. Uh, just before I go, I'd like to say a couple of things. As you, many of you know, I've got out and about and danceplanet.tv is about you guys. Without you guys, this channel's nothing. And I'm very lucky to have a really good following and the channel going really well. But I do want to get to more events and start getting the fans involved and, and actually featured on danceplanet.tv. So I have started up a, a Dance uh, Planet page Patreon page, which is up there. If you click on it and want to support it, there is rewards and that. I would be so grateful and it will allow me to do even bigger and better and more awesome videos at the events. Now also, I've just put a promotion out. Um, so if you join DartsPlanet.tv, the first 10 that sign up to DartsPlanet.tv, um, if you're UK based, I'm going to be sending you some free Winmore flights and stems. That includes your postage free to your door. So head across now. I think, just looking at it, there's a couple already joined. Um, I think there's about six or seven more places. So head across to www.dartsplanet.tv and um, sign up and get your freebies. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the preview. Don't forget to check out all my awesome Scotland videos. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you like my channel, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn your notifications on and hit that subscribe button. And please tell others. That's it for this video. I'll catch you next time. Bye.